If you are interested in computer graphics industry, whether you are a 3D artist, an architect, or a graphic designer, you probably wondered about how humanity switched from paper to digital, and how 3D computer programs were developed in the first place. In this video, we're gonna go over a brief history of the first computer graphics software and the person who worked on it in the early days when graphics software were not even a thing. Sketchpad, the first 3D software in history. The history of 3D modeling started with mathematical ideas that are behind 3D visualization. Basic ideas came from the founders of mathematics sciences like Euclid who invented geometry, Descartes who developed analytic geometry, and James Joseph Sylvester who invented matrix mathematics, which is now at work for every computer-generated image. The biggest breakthrough came from Ivan Southern who introduced Sketchpad, also known as Robo Draftsman in 1963 with its revolutionary interface. Sketchpad established the fact that designers and potentially artists could use computers not only for engineering or for repetitive drafting, but also interactively. Sketchpad pioneered some of the most important concepts in computing, including the graphical user interface, non-procedural programming, and object-oriented programming. If you are using a computer or smartphone, you are using technology pioneered by Sketchpad. It also led to the advanced development of other imaging software, such as computer-aided design programs used by engineers and architects. With Sketchpad, Ivan was a pioneer of human-computer interaction that made computers intuitively easy for humans to use. Because of that, Ivan is considered by many to be the creator of computer graphics. Sketchpad was an innovative system developed by Ivan as part of his PhD thesis. It was the software that actually defined the graphical user interface more than 20 years before the term was even used. It is considered the ancestor of modern computer-aided design and animation programs, as well as a major breakthrough in the development of computer graphics in general. It uses drawing as a novel communication medium for a computer. The system contains input, output, and communication programs, which enable it to interpret information drawn directly on a computer display. For example, the graphical user interface was derived from Sketchpad as well as modern object-oriented programming. Ivan demonstrated with it that computer graphics could be used for both artistic and technical purposes in addition to showing a novel method of human-computer interaction. The Father of Computer Graphics Ivan was born in Nebraska on May 16, 1983. His father had a PhD in civil engineering as well as his mother. He was immersed in learning since he was young. His favorite subject in high school was geometry, and he always described himself as a visual thinker because of his interest in computer graphics. Ivan's first computer experience was with famous computer Simon of Edmund Berkeley, and his first big computer program was to make Simon divide. Southern went on to study at Carnegie Mellon University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, and then he went on to earn an MS also in electrical engineering from the California Institute of Technology. For his PhD, Ivan went to MIT, where he studied under great professors. The atmosphere of academic freedom at MIT allowed some students to start to think more exciting lines of research. Ivan was impressed and he decided that the TX2 should be a good machine with which to implement a real-time drawing program. And this is where he developed his revolutionary thesis. His PhD thesis was titled Sketchpad, a Mem Machine Graphical Communication System, the first graphical user interface. In 1963, Ivan found himself drafted into the army and assigned to the National Security Agency because he knew about computers. He realized that the government involvement in computers was huge. The NSA measured its computing power in acres. In 1964, he was transferred to the Advanced Research Project Agency, ARPA, and he was responsible for many of the computing projects, including the Internet. At the age of 26, First Lieutenant Ivan was given control of $15 million per year and was told to go sponsor computing research. Over the two following years, he commissioned and managed a range of computer projects that included AI and timesharing then at University of California at Berkeley working on timesharing as well. It turned out that Ivan's understanding of real-time computing held the key to implementing practical computer graphics. 
as a result of his work on Sketchpad and his many subsequent contribution to computing, Sutherland has received a dazzling array of honors. He received the Turing Award from the Association of Computer Machinery in 1988 for the invention of Sketchpad. He is a member of the National Academy of Engineering as well as the National Academy of Sciences. In 1968, Ivan Sutherland and David Evans founded the first 3D graphics company, Evans and Sutherland. They started the company to produce hardware to run the systems that were developed, but were soon also developing software. Their appearance and access in the market inspired others to start up their own companies and working on developing new technologies. A closer look at Sketchpad. Sketchpad ran on MIT Lincoln Labs DX2 computers. It was at the time one of the biggest machines in the world. With 306 kilobytes of core memory, it differed from the most contemporary computers in that it was designed to test human-computer interaction. Sketchpad was developed at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory on a TX2 computer. The computer was very advanced for its time and had 320 kilobytes of main memory, an 8 megabyte magnetic tape storage device a 7-inch 1024 by 1024 monitor, a light pen, and a button box. As with most programs of the era, programs were written in microassembler, punched onto paper tape, and fed into the computer's paper tape reader. The computer occupied about 1,000 square feet, or 93 square meters, and the 320 kilobytes memory core was alone about 76 cubic meters. Unlike earlier computer applications, which were batch-oriented, Sketchpad was interactive. A Sketchpad user sketches directly on the computer display with a light pen. The light pen is used both to position parts of the drawing on the display and to point to them to change them. Using the light pen and input buttons, you can draw directly on the screen using a crosshair cursor. The program supported points, line segments, and arcs as basic elements, but allowed these to be saved into master drawings, which could be copied or instanced, and a set of push button control that changes to be made such as erase, move, etc. Sketchpad was an incredible breakthrough because of the way that it allowed the user to interact with the computer. The light pen was used to draw directly on the computer's monitor and incorporated graphical user interface techniques such as rubber banding of lines and zooming. Rubber banded lines could be constrained to always intersect at the precise angle. An advanced memory architecture was developed that allowed the creation of master objects and instances which were very memory efficient copies of the masters. The master instance concept allowed the creation of a master drawing and then duplicates to be created which would inherit properties of the objects in the master drawing unless they were locally changed. If the master drawing was changed, then the changes would automatically be propagated through the instances in any duplicates. Sketchpad included 17 different types of constraints, including vertical, horizontal, perpendicular, parallel, aligned, equal size, and more. The native or atomic constraint could be combined to create more complex relationships. Sketchpad even allowed the visual display of constraints on the screen, using icons to represent each type. With the constraint system, it was possible to loosely sketch a shape and then add geometric and topological relationships to modify it into the exact shape you need. Visually, Sketchpad was surprisingly interactive. It supported the dynamic move, rotation, and scale of entities, rotated and scaled as you move the cursor. It not only supported zoom and pen, but did so transparently. Due to all the characteristics of Sketchpad, it proved beyond doubt that computers could automate repetitive design and drafting tasks with reliability and accuracy not possible by manual methods. Sketchpad proved that computers can be used not just for engineers and repetitive drafting, but can be used interactively by designers and potentially artists in the concept creation and innovation stage of the product lifecycle. Further development after Sketchpad Ed Catmull created a curved, realistic model of his wrist, which brought a dose of realism into visualization. He also developed z-buffering texture mapping algorithms crucial for the display of bicubic surfaces and shapes. Martin Newell created a teapot, creating a simple three-dimensional form. Jim Blaine was the first person who applied texture mapping and bumps mapping into a 3D model by using the algorithms of texture mapping developed by Catmull. Then he added a reflection and scaling algorithm for the bicubic patches. After multiple improvements, Blin started to create 3D animations.
In the 1970s, companies began to offer automated design and drafting systems. In 1971, a CAD system called Atom was released. Atom was designed to work on as many machines as possible. Other professors discovered techniques for shading at the University of Utah, which sped up processing by simplifying the original algorithms for rendering, and delivered better visual results in light, reflection, and shading. An item of interest was the Utah T model. It appeared in history as a symbol of 3D computer graphics after it was used by Martin Newell to test his graphical research. In 1983, the 2D system AutoCAD was released. It was the first significant CAD program in history of 3D modeling for the IBM PC. But they were not dominating the market for long because commercial computer-aided design systems were showing up in aerospace, automotive, and other industries throughout the rest of the decade. Throughout the 1990s in the history of 3D modeling, CAD software was widespread and being tested to its limits. After that, 3D printing was starting to show up. Today, computer graphics is a core technology in digital photography, film, video games, cell phone and computer displays, and many specialized applications. Whether you are an architect, a web designer, a 3D artist, or a scientist, computer graphics can make your work quicker, easier, and much more efficient. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.